Pisces, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another tarot reading with myself, Joe. Before we get started on your reading, Pisces, um, I would definitely like to invite you to join me on my Instagram page. That's Empath, Empath Joe on Instagram. Um, I do lots of lives there, a live every Wednesday even at 8pm. Uh, so we'll have live discussions and live tarot. Um, and also you can get to know me a bit better over there. So yes, for those of you that do have social media and would like to join me on my Instagram, feel absolutely free to do so, guys. Um, also, if anybody is wanting to book a personal reading with me, you will find all the links and details in the description below. Moving on. Pisces, let's get into your reading, shall we? Your first card, Eight of Pentacles. Then we have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Star, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups. Things are looking really, really good for you right now, um, Pisces. Um, I definitely want to say with the Eight of Pentacles uh, starting your reading there, um, it seems as if you are kind of burying your head in work, like, or, or trying even to find some sort of work. But this is really representing somebody hard at work. And this could possibly be to distract yourself from uh, your wishes, to be in a commitment, to find your one, to find your person here. Um, or it could be to build up your coins so that you can have your fulfilment, your happiness here with the Ten of Cups. But it's coming. We've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles um, right beside one another there. So it's like completion and f financial fulfilment as well at the same time. <laughs> so you might be marrying a rich, somebody very, very rich. Um, that could be the case. Um, however, I do believe that Pisces, you know, there are some financial issues here that you are having to sort out as i said with the star card aquarius energy so possibly for some of you, you could uh, be connecting with an aquarius here but this is um you know trust in the process perhaps this takes you even by surprise because you're kind of wrapped up in work or trying to you know sort your finances here uh, but this is an absolute wish more than likely a wish come true a page of swords a knight of cups so it's almost like watching and waiting it's you know there's this massive there's there's a huge <laughs> coming together here we've got two positive 10 cards there so um yes with the page of swords it's usually a spying card isn't it so i don't know what this is that you're watching and waiting for perhaps waiting for the final offer waiting for the level up this could very well be the, uh, somebody that you're connecting with already pisces but i'm not i'm not getting that i feel more so it's something that takes you by surprise but it's right on right on the mark right it, exactly what you would hope and dream for yeah let's read on what's the offer let's have a look at that we have the death card it's not always a bad sign guys two of swords and we have the nine of cups nine of cups being a wish again okay so this is as i said i'm not feeling any bad energy here or anything negative untowards i just feel like this is a transformation it's a huge change then from where you were okay lots of things needing to be released lots of things needing to be realized uh some sort of mask you weren't lifting the veil of something here this as i said again i'm going to say it this is an absolute wish of yours okay this is you kind of, <laughs> and this is absolutely the same person here. Two of swords, nine of cups. It's like you're not seeing or you're choosing not to see this. Very much watching, watching, watching. I don't know what it is you're waiting for though, Pisces. It's almost watching and waiting for this offer, but you, you already know it's coming because there's this connection. Very strong. Um, but yes, this is an absolute wish of yours. There's you waiting again. That's being removed. That's coming off. There's something you're choosing not to see or choosing not to do. Perhaps you're choosing not to believe that it's, this is happening to you. Do not devalue yourself. You're worth it every time, Pisces. So let's see. What is, is, is there anything blocking this connection then? Let's have a look at that. We've got the page of wands. We have the full Aries energy there. Oh, my God. Okay, seven of swords. Yeah. Sneaky behaviour. Okay. 
seven of swords someone trying to get away with something but this is it's almost as if you're cheating yourself out of this new beginning by choosing not to see something here but it's here for you so absolutely yours for the taking pisces the four this is a new beginning a leap of faith even okay with the page of wands this is quite young energy um very passionate right i'm gonna say the page of wands is quite a passionate page of wands can uh be a player type energy okay or show player type tendencies or behaviors even there's something that that's related to that for you and that could possibly be what's blocking you from having this new beginning from taking this leap of faith as i said pisces more than likely um replaying the past that negative nostalgia and uh, cheating yourself out of something really beautiful here that could very well be the case Let's have a look. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. There we go, Seven. Oh, we got a Seven. We got the Seven of Cups possibility. And I'm going to say it again, Pisces, it's almost cheating yourself out of something really, really good. There's some emotions that you are needing to let go of. And, and this is past, okay, past emotions. Because you're saying it's a possibility, but my cards are telling me otherwise. Let's read on. What's the next step in this? Pisces. We have the three of wands. Fine. Next step for Pisces, please. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We just flew right out. King of Pentacles and Eight of Cups planning as i said this is looking into the future, possibly even thinking about walking away. But with this King of Pentacles here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy this is quite a stable grounded kid knows what he wants and um yes I think more than likely to connect with another it would be to settle down for the long term planning for the future there's many plans with this person here okay but um this is slightly bothering me I feel like this could very well be you Pisces uh, walking away from something that's good for you because you're only looking at it as a possibility here it's not registering right with you yet pisces next steps what's pisces actions show me more of pisces actions chariot points up seven of wands definitely needing to gain a new perspective of this uh, ace of swords as i said a new a, a new perspective here um ace aces are something new representing something new so absolutely there is a new beginning for you something that you can move forward to something that you will grow confidently in okay it's about finding confidence within yourself um to even have a discussion find some truths um for yourself <coughs> pisces I really do feel like you're confusing yourself here um, with the Ace of Swords. This is a sword of truth. Okay. So it's almost once you gain that new perspective, but there's there's some conversation that will need to be had. Yeah. For you to gain this truth. This is your next steps, Pisces here. This is something that will take that as some guidance, some advice there for you, Pisces. It's about gaining a new perspective, but needs confidence is needed there for some reason. And I very much feel as though it's because you're not believing in, in this connection. Let's get you an outcome. What's the outcome here for Pisces? What's the outcome for Pisces? We are the devil, Scorpio energy. Uh, we also have the wheel of fortune, seven of pentacles. Absolutely. This could, uh, sorry, not Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy. Then we do have the king of pentacles somewhere um so yes you could be, be dealing with an earth sign you don't have to be dealing with any of the signs i've mentioned today but i read as i see so pisces this is that toxic energy possibly feeling feeling bound or tied to a situation not necessarily this one but yes there's something there's some sort of toxic energy okay and this toxic energy could just very well be your negative thought loops okay as it as you receive what you want what you ask for there's something that you're doing to kind of self-sabotage this the will is turning in your favor here okay it's your turn pisces and here you are looking back 
this needs to be released. <laughs> this needs to go. Okay, deal with every emotion. Or perhaps this has still something to do with your, your money then. Perhaps you're feeling that you're not good enough or your money's not good enough. You don't, you're not where you want to be in life to be able to receive this. When the universe speaks, it has spoken. Okay, so um, just trust the process here. There's a reason for everything. Let's get you some Oracle cards, Pisces. Let's see what advice the Oracle has for you today. We have balancing masculine and feminine energies. Yin and yang, guys. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. I did mention that confidence there. Okay. So it's about finding that confidence and, and, and find it, tuning into your feminine side, but find it having a balance within that. Okay. You may be leaning a bit towards your feminine side and not incorporating the masculine because we're needing that confidence definitely that came up very strong in your reading Pisces so do take that into consideration um Pisces that has been your reading as always take what resonates leave whatever doesn't do not force anything to fit with your situation guys if you haven't subscribed already feel absolutely free to do so have a wonderful wonderful day and take care until next time.